We asked a number of people, if you could ask God one question and you knew it would be answered, what would that question be? One person gave us this question, what is this life and why do you feel so intangible? Why is God intangible? Why is he not like us? Why can't we give him a hug or drink coffee with him or play rugby with him in the rain? Wouldn't that somehow make him feel a bit more real? The Bible says that God is spirit and God is eternal. He's not bound by time and space as we are, nor is he part of the material world. And yet God hasn't left us without a witness to who he is. He has closed the gap between him and us. First of all, we can see something of who God is and what he's created. The natural world, including ourselves, its beauty, its order, its detail, points to a creator, an artist, a mathematical genius beyond compare, someone who gives good gifts to enjoy. The book of Romans says God's eternal power and divine nature we can see in the things he's created, and so we've really got no excuse for not believing in him. Not only that, but God is, although God is very different to us, he has revealed himself to us through his word. He's spoken through dreams and visions to prophets. He's spoken in acts of history. He's sometimes even taken human form and spoken in human words. His laws show us what he's like. But even all these things still leave us with the sense that God is somehow intangible. Well, listen to some amazing news from one of Jesus' disciples in the Bible. The Apostle John says the word became flesh and dwelt among us. That word which in the Old Testament came to us in visions and dreams and through prophets became flesh and bone and blood in the pristine womb of a virgin. When he was born his lungs filled with good old country air and his scream made his parents hearts skip. As he grew he could be seen and heard and smelt touched and if you'd licked him in a hot sunny day I'm sure he'd have tasted very salty. In the word become flesh the, the intangible becomes tangible. Nowhere has God become more tangible than in Jesus Christ the word become flesh. He has become one of us, God but also human. In Jesus, God has not only come near, but he's come near to help us, to, to redeem us and to suffer and die and rise again for our greatest good. The Easter story really is the greatest story ever told. Our God has paid the ultimate price to reconnect us to himself in the closest possible relationship. When Jesus rose from the dead, he didn't return as spirit only but as muscle and bones and organs. Touch me and see, he says. A ghost doesn't have flesh and bones as you see I have. And his followers testify, we heard him, we saw him, we touched him. There's nobody more real than Jesus Christ, nobody more truly human. He's someone who's been seen and heard and touched. But what we really need is his touch on our lives. So why not this Easter ask him to reveal himself to you and to touch your life so that you can know this God who is very much tangible.